Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The time has come for LC Tejas to rule. In last few days, we have witnessed some or other important updates related to our own LC Tejas fighter jet. The efforts and investment made on this program is going to reap benefits for years to come. On 23rd August, LC Tejas conducted the maiden test firing of Astra beyond visual range missile, adding another feather to its cap. This has not only boosted the LC Tejas weapon firing capability, but also built trust with Indian Air Force. The Air Force and Ministry of Defense has planned for additional 100 LC Tejas fighter jet for Indian Air Force. Now there was another interesting development in July 2023. Few pictures of LC Tejas was shared by Akshay Daniel on Instagram, where we can see LC Tejas was flying with DRDO's developed advanced self-protection jammer pod. I have shared the link for the same in description section. Forget about our adversaries. Even Indian Air Force fighter jets will find it very difficult to counter LC Tejas Mark 1A which is integrated with Uttam AC radar, digital radar warning receiver, Astra beyond visual range missile and ASPJ. The beauty of the indigenous ASPJ is that it works in coordination with digital radar warning receiver. The LC Tejas can not only carry ASPJ but also Israel's SPJ ports. The self-protection jammer is an ECM that is electronic countermeasure system that jams the signal of hostile radar and thus provide protection to the aircraft. The jammer first detects the radiation of enemy emitters and compares it with its integral threat library. If the transmission either is confirmed to be hostile or is an unknown threat, the jammer radiates and jams the enemy receiver and thus attempts to protect the aircraft. At the same time, the radar warning receiver also detects the radio emission of radar system, but their primary purpose is to issue a warning when a radar signal that might be a threat is detected. Now, DIDO has developed indigenous ASPJ, that is Advanced Self Protection Jammer Pod, and Dhruti Digital Radar Warning Receiver for Indian fighter jets. Both the systems are completely indigenous, be it hardware or software. The Dhruti RWR detects the hostile radio frequency signal and transfers its data to ASPJ, which in turn jams the incoming hostile radio frequency signal. The purpose of this system is to provide protection to the aircraft against ground based acquisition radar, fire control radar anti-aircraft artillery and airborne multi-mode radars. Now, talking about DRDO's ASPJ, it is developed on gallium nitride based solid state AESA jammer transmitters. ASPJ is based on active phased array APA, ultra wide band DRFM that is digital radio frequency memory and an inbuilt cooling system. The DRFM jammers are famous for their capabilities to severely degrade the adversaries, radar and missile seekers. The cooling system is another important component of ASPJ, which was earlier imported but now has been developed completely indigenous. The ASPJ pod radiates a lot of energy, which in turn generates a lot of heat internally. So in order to ensure the proper functioning of the onboard electronics, it is important to cool down these systems, which is where the cooling systems are used. ASPJ is going to be a single pod. Now, indigenous electronic warfare suite, which has been developed for LC Mark 1A, consists of an internal receiver unit and external pod jammer. The internal receiver unit is a new generation electronic warfare receiver system which operates in wide frequency range. It is an internal system and fully digital receiver based solution with powerful real time signal processing using complex and adaptive algorithms. Now the external port jammer is going to be none other than indigenous ASPJ port. 
as per DRDO, the development of the wideband receiver and ASPJ pod is complete and the developmental flight evaluation on LCA Mark 1 is under progress. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.